Paris, today we go to Dior, the coolest male models, Miss Fame, Lucky Love, J Balvin, Jessica Biel, and Justin Timberlake. Julien is backstage and in the middle of the fashion action. Wow. We break down the collection. The inspiration, the saddles, the new shoes that will make your cousin troll. C'est magnifique. Hello, I'm Loïc Prigent and I film fashion. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see everything about fashion. Hit the notification bell and you can indulge on all my other fashion videos. There's plenty of them. Welcome to the Dior Fashion Show. Mood board. This is Dior Menswear Spring 2023 by Kim Jones. The set is grandiose, two houses. One is Christian Dior's childhood home in Normandy. The other is Charleston, the home of the artist of the Bloomsbury Group in Sussex. One side is France, the other is England. Christian Dior and Kim Jones. This feels very inviting. This is prestigious and has a different invitation to it, but I like this experience here for my real life. But for fantasy, I go over there. The fake bushes are more real than real because they're real, real plants. We're in a garden. Ça me rappelle la maison normande de mon père à Vernon-Giverny. C'est hyper apaisant. The first row is covered with grass. We're walking on grass, but dark grass. Give me one more pose. Anything you know about it? It's beautiful. I like roses. And my new album is called River Roses. So yeah. We are backstage and Dior's hat maker, Master Mr. Stephen Jones, is giving the last touches. Okay. So in one minute. It's an Hitchcockian set, pure illusion. It's all a wooden structure for the show. Okay, but really next to the floor. It's very, very, very important. Okay? Thank you. Three, two, one, and go. Your exclusive model Kaplan Annie got the gardening suit of the season. A mix of laid back and regal tailoring. Regal gardening, I guess. Trompe l'oeil, he wears a fantasy scarf in the shape of two sleeves. Babacar Diop with a turned down waistband made of gros grain, the traditional couture fabric. The buttons are covered with fabric, a Dior couture signature. Very 18th century aristocrat. An asymmetric Nelson Ogas with garden boots in rubber and neoprene, perfect for walking in the mud. Silas de Mat with details of organza at the cuffs and the pockets, an open work canage hat made by Stephen Jones. I think the hats were definitely one of the most fire parts. La façon dont le chapeau de paille a été amené, je trouve ça vraiment très très beau et puis surtout ça m'a donné envie de retomber amoureux, d'aller courir dans les champs avec toute mon innocence, ouais. And just a normal walk. And go. Tilvena with a workwear apron of a delicate tank top with the embroidery of a kiss that appeared on a fan painted by Duncan Grant. Grant was a painter. He lived in this house of Charleston. His color palette, his garden, his free spirit inspired the collection. And now... Lee Yong Ho wears the first bar jacket of the collection. It's silk organza with visible construction. It looks like an unfolded origami. The bar jacket is the first jacket that launched your careers in 1947. New face René Zvixna. On his sweater, the motif of Duncan Grant's dancers, made by hand in crochet. His nylon backpack is a collab with the brand Mystery Ranch. It's an outdoor brand. It's based on like they do a lot of things for hunting, fishing, a lot of um, fire services like fire and rescue. We've decided to add kind of DR codes. So we took their existing shape, which they're known for this three-way zip system, and we've really worked into the details, adding leather trims, pockets, the the DR metal pieces, and then inside is fully lined in DR. Ferranmi Ajitomobi has flowers from the Dior archive embroidered on his hanorak. The belt bag is another part of the collab with Mystery Ranch. Nizar Talal, wool and cashmere bermuda in grey Dior and grey Normandy. The running shorts on Duta CBD are linen and cotton jersey with jacquard checks, a canage case for AirPods on his necklace. Fidelis Willy in a bar double-breasted coat. 
and giant neoprene tote embroidered with lily of the valley, Christian Dior's favorite flower. Can I ask you what's your favorite flower? Birds of paradise maybe? I'll say bluebell. Sunflower, orchid. I love roses. I'm quite a fan of the thistle. Irises are some of my favorite flowers. <laughs> and go. Dan Duez with a fleece pullover jacket. Quite perfect for golfing, if you ask me. He sports a new Dior sneakers. On a une nouvelle basket, la B31. C'était tout autour de la randonnée, d'avoir quelque chose qui équipe les pieds. Canage, système de cordon. On a essayé de travailler des systèmes waterproof pour qu'il y ait une vraie fonction. Hu Ding Yong with a landscape by Duncan Grant on his cashmere sweater. Kit Jones has the honor of the first saddle bag of the collection. Is it complicated to make? Um, I mean, it's fully molded in metal, so for the moment it's quite straightforward. Is it heavy? When we get to the show prototypes, it's quite heavy. But once we start to, to get it into production, we can change the type of metal and the construction to make it lighter and more feasible for every day. It's both fashion and self-defense. If someone tries to snatch your bag, you just... <laughs> Newcomer Vlad Bayens in his second show ever. This is not Paula Fleece, but Cassantino Wool. He's an ethical gardener in a polyamorous relationship with flowers. Jean Meyer looks almost like Duncan Grant with his geometric sailor color shirt. Almost a British schoolboy uniform. Could it be Kim Jones, aged 14, visiting Charleston with his class? It's an actual fishing case he's holding. Shiny quilted canage coat on London Lee. The white brim hat is worn over a cap. Tous les peintres des années 30, ils ont les chapeaux un peu comme ça, mais faits en paille. Et Kim voudrait le faire plus moderne. Et finalement, on met avec le chapeau de baseball, la casquette de baseball de Kim, avec mon chapeau au-dessus. Et ça, c'est comment on arrive à C'est spontané comme ça. This is luxury, so it will be two hats for the price of three. Malik, a Kim Jones muse. Il marche vraiment à gauche, sur les, presque sur les fleurs, presque. Et vas-y. Typically jaw, flare pants. The backpack and the shoes are both protected with nylon covers. Perfect for the Sussex morning dew. The embroidery on here is taken from a Duncan Grant artwork, which is part of the collaboration and the foundation we've been working with for this season. New face, Yuto Ebiara, with jaw running, mask, sunglasses. The Bermuda is cotton and silk, is the CEO of the garden. None so David in a chine blended wool coat. The peak lapels are wool natte, because men will buy texture more than tailoring eccentricity nonsense. Micro fishing case for the Dior sardines. Amamdine Pelewura wears as a medal or a brooch a cute ceramic fish pin ready to go fishing in the pond in front of Charleston. The Hague with the same idea of a ceramic fish as earring. He wears technical gloves, ready to cut roses. Remember Dior also sells real gardening tools. Monsieur Dior and his sister Catherine were hardcore gardeners. Dior keeps going rural and coastal. Ruben, Bilan, Carol. Casual bar jacket, mismatched workwear, cut and canvas trousers. I wonder what's in the flask. This outfit is fire, straight flames. Gizeng with warped rubber canage sandals. On est sur quelque chose de super nouveau pour nous. Canage ouvert, basculé, donc les formes changent. Et surtout, il y a en opposition le fousse bête. C'est vraiment l'idée de pouvoir euh, avoir ça le matin pour aller euh, arroser les plantes. I say in Bohemian Pink. J'aime bien, avec le thème euh, fishing, c'est beau. Charleston was owned by the painter Duncan Grant and Vanessa Bell, two heroes of Kim Jones who collect their work and their furniture. Solomon James Mark Crackin in a fisherman ribs mock neck zip jacket. His saddle is a collab with Missouri Ranch. It's cool. Yeah, we all look like some hikers and going on a big picnic or something. <laughs> At Charleston, painting, free love and gardening was on the program. It's the most beautiful place in England, and I'm not kidding. Alex Christenko wears a crew neck with a Duncan Grant landscape, with needle punch effect for texture. All the interiors of Charleston are all over painted like this. The doors, the walls, all the surfaces are full of figures, animals, colors. I love the colors, I love the vibe, I love the stadium. Everything, he killed it, I want everything. 
Beyond Jig O with an oblique opening to his blouson. Oblique is the name of a mythical asymmetrical collection by Christian Dior in 1950. Axel Jobert in a Duncan Grand safety curtain motif. A total collector for the Charleston aficionados. This is actually based on a Duncan Grant artwork owned by Kim Jones. He collects books a lot and anything related to Charleston. South Korean Liul Im in a silk organza bark jacket. Fun fact, Charleston had its own invented time zone, which was one hour ahead of British summer time. Wang Chenming in ankle length neoprene wallies. The shells on his necklace are resin. Les coquillages de son collier sont en résine. On a travaillé ça sur toutes les formes, joué avec l'idée du sable, l'idée de la mer, l'idée de Grandville, Charleston, une promenade d'un endroit à un autre où il faudrait aller dans l'eau, aller dans la pelouse. Vogue cover boy Freak Ivan wears a camo print called Duncan Grant Lily Pond, a motif Duncan Grant painted on tables, folding screens, etc. The safari jacket is reflective of very Kim Jones technicality. Amadou Gouey in the pullover anorak version. Some of the florals, uh, sweaters, were beautiful. I mean, Kim is just so good. I love the color tones, color palettes. Tyler is with his coat and his zipped gilet opened, showing some abs. Next to the floor, next, next, next to the floor. Ismaila Abdullah with a Duncan Grant musician's image on his silk Razimir mock neck shirt. Duncan Grant moved to Charleston in 1916 as he didn't want to fight the First World War and the government accepted if you worked in farms. It was a fight of farm policy. Suma Nicola with the oblique bar jacket of the season with stitched darts. Robin Avignon, he has a sleeveless crew neck with an optic effect that is a CD diamond reverse jacquard, a jacquard en fil renversé. Yosri Detre, mock necks everywhere for a trekking outdoors look, for all this not to be too romantic. Ungo Go was a backpack hooded cover inspired by the many safaris Kim Jones made. The French Milan Bodemer gloves in pockets. Duncan Grant's Lily Pond sweater made with Pont de Croix embroidery. Dante Sheck was walking his third show ever. No slow, no fast, just normal. Japanese model Taketo Nigara. The fabric of the mock neck pullover shirt is cotton sirsucker. Victor Chrome. The technical mesh invaded his blouson all over maxi fishing case. Thatcher Thornton with a ceramic fish as kitchen with feathers like a Dior fish bait. Jan Krivdik with a Duncan Grant kiss. Duncan Grant had a long lasting love relationship with the super famous economist John Maynard Keynes. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Wu Song Kim. Again, the tailoring is shown opened and mismatched. The masks and glasses are blue aluminium with grey lenses. Passage 47, number 47, like 1947, the year Dior was launched. Absolute new face, new, 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 Stephen Grohn. Quite serious, poker face. Handmade decorative pasting point on his coat. Achille wears a 3D printed canache fedora hat. And it's over a cap. Work while gardening total look and boots, but make it white for the coolest grass stains. Adrian Smats holds a painted seapwood fan, an éventail en bois de cipo, embroidered with a Duncan Grant artwork. Duncan Grant produced fans with the Omega Workshop. Bojan with another Duncan Grant embroidery floating on his chest. Duncan Grant lived for more than 40 years at Charleston with Vanessa Bell and different lovers, making it a house full of secrets. Godwin Alwell Okeriku taking us back to Grandville, Normandy, France, Gris Dior, Tailleur Bar, Bourgeoisie. Both Grandville and Charleston houses were filled with smell of new cakes and flowers. Grandville, like Charleston, is now open to the public. Kevin Benson closes the show. Asymmetric apron ready to cut all the flowers from the set and give them to you. I love my outfit. I love the apron. I love how unique it is from the rest of the, um, the, rest of the collection.
Angle, angle, no gap, guys. No gap, no gap, no gap, no gap, no gap, no gap. Okay, you follow? Okay. Got <laughs> it. Open the door, open the door, yeah, yeah. Hold the door, hold the door. Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel come backstage to congratulate Kim Jones. Congratulations. How are you? Good. I'm great. You must be so crazy right now. <laughs> So, yeah, it was wonderful. I mean, seeing seeing the photos the other day was something, but like seeing it in action was, yeah, was gorgeous. Video. Safe travels. It was beautiful. Thank you again. All right. Can I ask you how was the show? Beautiful. What did you like? Uh, I have everything. <laughs> I saw like uh, 10 pieces I already need in my closet. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> All the blazers were amazing. Everything was beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Voilà, this was my DDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDDD